The Effectual Fervent Prayer, Christian Daily Devotion. James, Chapter 5, from 16 to 18. Memory Verse, Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The prophet Elijah clearly revealed the secrets of his power. He did everything at the word of the Lord. He was under God's direct instruction. There was a private intercourse between him and God before there was a public demonstration of power at Mount Carmel. What you eat in the secret will manifest on the outside. What you do in the secret shall be rewarded openly. The God who sees in the secret shall reward you in the open. Your secret tears in the secret place shall be turned to glorious joy and public celebration. What God sees in the secret is what he rewards in the open. The prophet Elijah did his priestly ministry in the secret place before coming out in the public as prophet and king. It was what God spoke to him in the secret as priest that he enforced in the public as prophet and king. The secret of praying is praying in the secret. Is your altar in the secret place alive and lively? Amazingly, the scriptures clearly stated that Elijah was a man just as you and I. He was neither God or an angel. He had all the fears and challenges you face as a man. If you are afraid, he was also afraid. If you are hungry, he was also hungry. If you have ever been depressed, Elijah also was so depressed and at a certain point in his life requested God to kill him. Yet, he commanded such unusual authority because he was a man of prayer. He built a lively altar of prayer where constant prayers were made. He lived and breathed prayers. He put his nose at the nostrils of God and inhaled constantly the breath of God. He connected his heart to the heartbeat of God. He understands the heart of God and his moves per time. When he speaks, God is committed to confirm it because he speaks the mind of God. Elias was a man subject like passions as we are, and to he prayed earnestly that might not rain, and it rained it not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. James 5:17-18. The prophet Elijah locked up heaven through prayers and put the key in his pocket. And when God commanded him, he came out from hiding, brought out the key from his pocket and through prayers again unlocked heaven. He prayed and prayed again. Have you prayed? Are you praying again? When things are not going well, pray to change them. And when things are going well, pray to sustain them. Whatever condition you find yourself is a prayer point. It calls for constant and consistent prayers. Prayer. I release you into the grace for unusual answers to prayers. Your voice shall be honored in heaven, obeyed on earth, and prevail in hell in the mighty name Jesus of Christ. Amen.